Our next guest is an internationally renowned French industrial designer, maybe one of the most incisive and experimental of our time. She has worked with Philippe Stark and in 2000 founded her own studio in Paris, Matali Crasset Productions. She works for clients such as Carrefour, IKEA, the City of Paris, Campeggi, Danese and numerous galleries. Her main interest is to shape the way we call live rather than only to give forms to objects and spaces. Please welcome Matali Crasset. So I'm very happy to be here. I will stay a little bit behind and then I, I will feel comfort comfortable to, to go with you. Um, I, I have a chance, in fact, to do very different uh, work um, and uh, in different fields. Yeah, and uh, just like that. And um, I'm happy to show you today products, sure, space, but uh, also to share hypotheses, uh, scenarios, uh, concepts um, I never show normally for uh, lectures. Uh, all these projects around homes, living in home. Uh, I will start showing, in fact, uh, a research on uh, uh, how. Uh, Oh, um, uh, I, want, I wanted uh, at the first, um, at the beginning, to break the, the inertia of the home structure. And in fact, the, all the idea behind was uh, to bring another logic of comfort at home. And uh, so I refused first to, to, to draw so far. And this is the first so far I, I, I made, in fact. Uh, I was looking more for a system. As you can see in this picture, you can uh, sure do a, pitch, uh, a sofa with the pieces, but you can also do a pile. If you need the space at home, you, because people, in fact, uh, 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 need more space and comfort at home sometimes. And uh, if you, welcome other, you want to welcome other friends, you have a, a poof there, and you can organize a, a meeting place together. So is, is it, it's a little bit how you can also invite the structure to go from the home to the outside. And in fact, it shows that working like that with system, it uh, allows you to create uh, very different scenarios of life, much more than creating uh, objects. And uh, uh, I just uh, finalized this project a little bit differently by uh, changing the handle uh, lately. And, but it remains exactly the same uh, principle uh, I, I find in a few years ago. Um, but then at the, fini at, the uh, at the end, I wanted to, to design a sofa. But uh, once more, the idea was to do more platforms than a sofa. So I decided to go for this project, which is in fact a, a, sopa, a sofa shape. But uh, if you want, so you can sit uh, on it, sure, but then if you want to rest a little bit uh, uh, when you, you come at home and in the evening, you can uh, open some parts and you can transform it in a long chair. It's really what I like in, in this kind of project because uh, I don't need any system or mechanism. I think uh, only by using the the material and place it in a different way and organizing the, um, the moving part, you can also uh, organize a different way of living uh, with this platform. And sure, you can also make a bed and invite somebody to sleep uh, on it uh, very easily. And uh, so I, I, I did go on on finding very different ways to uh, but in a way with different combinations. This is uh, with the idea of uh, making a kind of family of uh, cushions. So once more, you can in, uh, have it compact because I'm really careful about uh, gaining space at home. And then you can uh, move the piece to have different type of uh, comfort, different informality. You could be informal or you could be more formal. And, uh, and then also once more, could uh, uh, to do a space for somebody uh, and, work and, and do a gesture of hospitality at home. Uh, you could do this also with uh, an armchair. I really was questioning the armchair because arm uh, for chair was in fact uh, um, 
more a gesture of st status, you know, we, b before we had the normal share and then they added the, the harm to give a difference between uh, the, the, the people. And so I, I wanted the, 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 the cushion, in fact, to be able to, to, uh, to be placed in a different part of the, of the, of the arm. And uh, moreover, you can uh, use the, the piece on the top to make uh, a small lap like that. And I really like the idea also of having the possibility to use this as arm. But it's not harm uh, uh, which uh, uh, this harm, uh, um, in fact, uh, invites you to put your shoulder down. And it's really uh, comfortable and it's, it's good for your back in the same time. Um, I like also to create structure to welcome others. And uh, this is a little bit uh, uh, an evolution of a project I did a long time ago called When Jim Come to Paris. So once more, the idea of being very uh, compact and being able then after to create like a, a new space at home for welcoming somebody, but with uh, uh, some devices for putting your stuff and, uh, and your clothes on, on the structure. Um, and and uh, yeah, I, I, uh, then after I, I, I had a, a look on creating structure to be act active at home. So uh, I, I, do, I did um, make this small container, but uh, if you imagine having glasses and, uh, uh, and um, bottle inside, uh, I think the idea of uh, using the material of the doors to, to make trays and to emphasize the fluidity at home is something uh, very uh, interesting. I'm really working on, on trays because I think trays uh, allows us to be uh, mobile at home and also to uh, invent, in, invent uh, uh, the way of in, uh, injecting different activity on existing surface. Um, yeah, I, I did this chair because I wanted to, s to say that sometimes we can have different uh, ways of living and uh, you, you can sure use a, a chair uh, to rest and, and to look at something, but uh, some, sometimes you want to be active also on, on the same chair, the same structure. So uh, I did this hybrid chair because you have a, a, through a, a seat, but you also have a small container and you have a table on it. You could have a table on the top only by uh, pushing the, the back of the seat uh, uh, on a different uh, way. And um, I, I like this idea because, uh, in fact, the, 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 the difference between uh, living in home and being in a office uh, for working is in a way uh, very uh, disappearing in a way. So you, we have to find ways also to invite um, working situation at home. Uh, and, uh, and, and this uh, pro project was all around this idea. Uh, I did a, a table with the same principle, uh, working the same collection in one gesture to be able to transform in a way a table and, uh, and welcome people uh, to, uh, to, to take and share uh, maybe uh, a discussion, but also uh, why not a, a lunch uh, around this table. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, one, one other part of my research is about how to make the symbiosis between artificial and natural. And uh, in this uh, direction, I, I really work on the idea of finding a new, another logic uh, of care at home. And I, 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 I gave back to the, I, I, I tried to find this project uh, in my archive. I forget a little bit uh, about it. It was in uh, 2002. And um, it was in a, like an installation in a gallery, an art gallery. Uh, but um, the intention was quite clear. I wanted with this uh, bath space uh, to uh, allow us to get back in a way the know-how our grandparents have uh, uh, for using the plants in the, our daily life. So surrounded by uh, plants like that and uh, um, attached to the bus uh, room. In fact, the idea was to gain little, little by little all the possibilities 
and to know all the possibilities bring by the plants, by doing tea, by doing decoction, by doing uh, uh, all kinds of intervention. And be a little by little, you become a specialist and you can do your own uh, medicine and also your own uh, cosmetic. Uh, and it is, in fact, this is happening right now. So this, it was just a, a kind of manifest showing the, the idea of not having any mirror in the bathroom, but more having the possibility to hack and tables and tools to be able to grow plants and to be able to transform by yourself all the, the, the ingredients. Yeah, another logic of water at home, this project, I just finalized it for this uh, presentation. Uh, I wanted to bring a, a water tower at home, but with a very uh, strong intentions. Um, I just want first to, to present uh, a kind of different way of having a shower uh, with the idea of uh, having less consumption uh, of water and doing a, a kind of uh, vaporization, vaporization of water uh, with uh, microscopic droplets of water. So, uh, and um, by doing so, we can also uh, use in the same time some liquids to, uh, to, to for benefits to not just like uh, my uh, oligo elements to get relaxation or cleaning agents to get uh, clean and or uh, energizing uh, agents so it could be had uh, it could be uh, yeah it could be integrated into the the water and then uh, the all the idea behind was also to say that we can uh, um, take the, the water what we call the gray water and it will be uh, um, then uh, uh, directed on the top where we have a pump and, and we have filtrations. And this allowed us then after to use the grey water for a specific application, plants and toilets. And in this case, you don't even know, need a flushing system because the system uh, is already there. So the idea was to say that uh, right now at home we don't have any uh, uh, devices to make the difference between the quality, uh, the different quality of water, and in, in a way it's all roles to, to create this kind of device and little by little to make the law evolve, because right now oh, it's not uh, possible to do such uh, projects. And as you can see on the structure, you have uh, green and blue structures, and you can directly plug uh, uh, things uh, on the blue to get the pool water, or uh, you can connect things on the uh, green uh, structure to get the, the gray water. But, uh, uh, and, um, and I like also when I'm doing an exhibition to have the possibility to create new hypotheses. So it's nothing to do uh, with uh, doing real project to be produced, but it's more the idea of uh, once more giving narratives and I, I, uh, so I did this for new, finding a new logic of eating rituals. As we already told this morning, it's very important for us to socialize uh, uh, around tables with the food. And we are still taking uh, 80 uh, minutes uh, a day, so it's quite in France at least, uh, to do that. And, and I think it's very important to uh, to keep this time, you know, of uh, socialization. So I, I, I ended by doing this table with uh, a, a, um, a tray a little bit up in order to welcome people to finalize a dish uh, directly nearby the table. And I uh, did uh, propose this uh, uh, suspension. And this suspension is in fact uh, reacting to the dish when you place uh, the dish on the table. Uh, just changing the atmosphere around the table, but not in on the table. And it is it, it is my way, uh, in a way, to uh, to make a to give a tribute to some to the person who is in fact uh, cooking and giving through the food the gesture of love of love to the others. So uh, another logic uh, I was I, I I was showing in this uh, the same exhibition. It was to find um, a kind of uh, 
was to define a kind of uh, lamp, and this lamp is made in two parts. Um, as you can see, you have uh, photovoltaic panels here, sorry, and uh, outside, and uh, so you will connect, you, you will place the photovoltaic, the part outside, and you will, in fact, you will collect the energy of the moon. So we'll need a lot of time, at least 15 days, to get enough energy then after to be used on the second part, which is this part. And uh, you will, at the end, get a small amount of, m of light, but with the energy of the moon, which is a kind of symbolic uh, 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 lamp. But in a way, the, the intention was to show that we forget a lot how uh, uh, that to produce energy, uh, it it's means uh, uh, it's, it's hard to produce energy, it's mean time, it's, it's structures, and uh, sometimes it's in a way too simple to have the possibility just to push on a knob and to get energy. Um, once more, another kitchen at home, and uh, um, this is more the, with the idea of uh, doing structure to do things. Uh, it was my pleasure, in fact, to be uh, invited to create a kitchen with the new system, method system in IKEA in, in for the Milan Fair. And I had the uh, constraint to work for a very tiny uh, apartment for three person and to create a kind of scenario of life, a uh, different scenario of life using only uh, IKEA pieces and uh, the method uh, system. I ended by uh, doing a kitchen just like an island in the, in the middle of the, the apartment, the tiny apartment, but with the idea of having uh, this small cabin for the kids uh, just in between. So you have two, uh, two kitchens, one is for more for cooking on, on one side and the other is more for uh, cleaning and uh, washing on the other side. Then you have the table on the front for, for sharing uh, the food. And uh, the important point was to say that uh, maybe we can have this little space just in the middle, up for the kid, so we could uh, give her, uh, him or her a kind of uh, autonomy quite soon, because in fact you can really uh, go on with your uh, domestic activity and, uh, and uh, have a look on what the kid is doing. It's, uh, it's a kind of protected area, uh, or, uh, just uh, with a balcony. On the and this is how you feel really, uh, uh, in a way, being together uh, with the structure. This is how the, the small part in, in, this, in the inside could uh, be organized, uh, with the, the idea behind that the kids uh, have their own space most of the time when you don't have space at home, you ask the kids to, to in, in fact, uh, to take the, their uh, um, toys away. And I think it's very important in this, in this case to be able to give a specific uh, uh, place for the kids to play because maybe playing is as important as hitting in a way. <coughs> And this is how uh, the project was, was going with the idea of integrating also the bed and uh, the structure. Uh, Vegetal capsule, it's, uh, it's a project I made in Milan today for, for showing to be shown in, uh, in the Triennale. So we, we will find a kind of connection with the, <laughs> the, 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 the previous lecture. Uh, I wanted to create a kind of greenhouse on a kitchen uh, it's not so much democratic, but it's, uh, the, the idea was to uh, more to be able to have the whole cycle at home once more. And uh, so I wanted to have this greenhouse like uh, the greenhouse we had at the beginning of the century, la last century, uh, because at that time we were very curious about uh, exotic plants. And in this case, I wanted to give back this type of curiosity on plants, but to be able to use it uh, uh, directly uh, on your daily life. So uh, you can uh, see that uh, this greenhouse is becoming like the long uh, uh, resp resp uh, for expression of the whole uh, all, all the, all of, uh, the of the of the house. And you can show 
could go inside and stay inside with a small terrace. You can organize all diff different type of uh, plants all together, uh, appreciate it from, from the inside, and then you can uh, uh, take some fruits and vegetables and bring it to the back. Uh, as you can see here on the on the top of the of the of the, of this uh, uh, of this space you have the sorry you have the compost plant so it's uh, something which could be placed down so uh, you could directly use uh, the element from the kitchen and, and bringing to the to the compost and also you have uh, as you can see here on the sketch, the idea of using uh, uh, either the fertilizer to, to bring it uh, back to the plants, but also the methanization, which could, could, be, uh, could be used to make a kind of a slow cooking device uh, in, in the same time. And under the greenhouse, you have this part here where you can organize a pantry, but also trash container, because I think it's very important to give the place to, the, to this uh, part too, and uh, all around you have the different part of the kitchen. <coughs> the storage, the cooking part, uh, to the part where you prepare the, the cooking, and then you, you have a dishwashing part. And I want, just want to finalize by explaining that uh, if you are feel good at home, if you uh, experiment experiment uh, your home in a different way. If you can act and changing uh, your home, then uh, little by little, maybe you gain more confidence to do projects on a, on a larger uh, scale outside with others. Uh, we uh, we say before in other lectures that it was so important to do things with the neighbors. And I would like just to finalize the presentation by showing uh, a project I did in a very tiny. Uh, s uh, village in uh, in Trebedan. It's uh, in the Côte, Côte d'Armor. This is how the village is looking like. There is no more bar. This is an old bar. No no more shops, but a small tiny um, school inside. And the idea was to, uh, after a lot of uh, uh, questioning, be able to renovate the school with no means because uh, the village was. Uh, has no uh, has no possibility to to pay for that. So we did work during seven years with the the French Foundation and the uh, new program called uh, Les Nouveaux Commanditaires to be able to not uh, only re renovate uh, the place but also be able to give to the teachers uh, the structure to uh, to bring uh, pedagogic uh, uh, active pedagogic. Uh, uh, tools for them. So this is how the, the school will look like before the renovation. And uh, even uh, one classroom was organized in this very old uh, building. And uh, it was raining inside, and it was also uh, very hard to work in, in winter. But uh, the teachers was not uh, saying any, any, anything, otherwise uh, the school could be uh, closed in a way. So. Uh, I ended by proposing, in fact, to renovate the part uh, we, which are in, uh, in the orange, and then to add these, uh, uh, like, harm uh, um, piece for the new classroom. And then I did decide to do also a kind of uh, um, chair rooms uh, just in between the, the school and the, the village. And uh, with the idea that uh, during the, the, the school time, uh, you, the, 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 the space is really organized uh, f for the school, but uh, when the school is finished, all the inhabitants could use this uh, share area because this one is a mediatek and the other part is a, it's a place like this one where you you can organize a meeting with association and, 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 and so on. And uh, as you can uh, see, I wanted to do a very simple architecture to be used for the new part, but also uh, pushing it inside uh, the volumes in order to renovate the old part. 
uh, sure, it's uh, also a way for me to, me to make a passive uh, structure and to really open the structure to, uh, 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 to, to bring light, but also to open the, the school uh, on the life of the, of the village. Because for me, uh, uh, school is about uh, keeping uh, uh, your, uh, your mind open. And uh, I also had these four extensions of generosity. It's, this, is one, this one is a terrace, could be used by the inhabitant. And this, then uh, you have another one for entering and, and, and placing the bike before entering. You have this one, which is in fact uh, uh, a cabin for the small and, and also for sliding. And you have this one, which is in fact inside uh, the new build and the renovated building, which uh, all, all the books and, uh, and uh, is the library. And you can see here all the participants uh, who, who, who fight with, with me to be able to build this new school organized in a very different way. Uh, so this is the way I organize a, a very flexible um, furniture inside, uh, and once more, the, 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 the classroom is organized in a different way because uh, I wanted to do a kind of uh, um, board like that, which is more storage, uh, in order to keep all the, the other part quite uh, free. So I did, uh, I did uh, uh, this small table, so you can organize different heights, and as you can see, you can plug uh, small uh, pots, so you have a kind of uh, a vertical garden on a part, and, you and the kids could come al alone and, and plug this, uh, uh, this pot on it. And as you can see, you have also stick there, because this stick uh, allows you to create like zones, uh, because all the, the, the the concept was to say that you, we could have two different layers. One layer is a, a strat, one strat is about to be concentrated, and the, the strat on the top could be uh, uh, for imaginations. And so all is done in a fact to uh, welcome the, the autonomy of the kids, just such as this, uh, this uh, shelf there where the, the, the teacher could prepare different activity and the kids come alone and, and do their own activity, uh, just, just like this kind of uh, structure here could be used alone and once more activities, tools for activities are prepared or you, you can do like small workshop like that or organize uh, small uh, uh, space also so the teachers could take some uh, books from the library and, uh, and bring it here and, and, uh, and create a specific uh, um, animation around, around uh, a theme. And this is the dormi dormitory. Uh, once more, the dormitory on, on, the, uh, on the outside is used for attaching but also uh, painting. So you, you can see the drawers and the drawers are, equi are used to bring the, to place the paper and uh, the uh, the colors, the inside. <laughs> For this little ones, I just had this uh, uh, small uh, part here, like, uh, and this is how we make all together um, the the opening of the place. Yeah, it was a single and unique direction to associate plastic, programmatic, and ecological field. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Matali, come with me. Let's go over there. So um, what I realized, uh, looking at all the projects you just uh, showed us, the garden is always very present. It's always in your projects in a way or in another. I mean, visually or really technically is there. So is that your vision to have the garden coming inside the home, if we can say so? But the projects here are more manifest than we all uh, project, but it's uh, it's a way to show that we have to, to make a shift in a way of perceiving nature also. 
and uh, and uh, sure, it's always possible, but then uh, it will be uh, reworked in a different way if it's become uh, real in a way. And what is the shift? How do you think we should perceive nature? <laughs> <laughs> I think we, we went too far by uh, uh, accepting uh, all the production made by the big industry, ag agriculture industry, mm -hmm. And um, and uh, now we became conscious about that. So little by little, we will gain uh, the knowledge, uh, the c the to to not do the whole, but at the at the end uh, to be able to uh, to perceive if it's a product is good for us or not. And then uh, you could do that uh, quicker if you do it by yourself on a small scale. It right. means. Uh, you 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 can't live uh, uh, only with this, but uh, it's a kind of uh, quick process, you know, to to get back uh, all this knowledge and be able to, uh, in a way, uh, to find this autonomy. Also, is nice again. And I heard you talking about the small micro utopia. Maybe that's what you were meaning here. So change things on a small scale. Yeah, but that could be for everything, right? Yeah. But the experience I get is more in small uh, villages like that. I'm, I'm, I'm very uh, keen on collaborating in a small village uh, uh, because, like we said this morning, uh, uh, things are happening there too. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I'm very uh, I'm sure design could be very uh, important for doing what I call social innovations. Mm -hmm. I, it's uh, it means that uh, there is a lot of op opportunity for designers to, to work there. It means uh, to collaborate with uh, 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 cities, small villages, with right. uh, municipality, and uh, to do projects, but also in France to change uh, what we call the bureaucracy, because the bureaucracy is in, in a way very uh, uh, a big problem of, of our society today, and by uh, by working to uh, together, we can uh, change the uh, and make the shift uh, and work and uh, asking them to work really for the for the people and for the project and not for for something else for power for, for everybody actually. Yeah. But then, if you start from villages and small places, how do you bring that back that um, knowledge to cities? The project I did in this case was more the idea of not making like uh, uh, duplication. It's uh, it's uh, it. I did this school. It's not the idea to. It's not no, no possibility to copy uh, this school because it's uh, really linked with the type of pedagogy uh, which is uh, made there. And I really like this idea to have the generosity also to do something very specific and singular and uh, uh, on the spot. So, mm -hmm. But you have uh, functioning, you have ingredients, you could uh, uh, organize in a different way, in, in a different uh, place. So you get the kind, you little by li little become expert um, and by doing one, one project and then you can, uh, you can do this in another context with different uh, intentions. Right. So, the, the big problem we get is, uh, as designer, we are sometimes uh, forgetting about this idea of uh, 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 communicating about the methodology, the, the, the knowledge we get on, on project, because we are more keen on doing things, you know, than uh, reflecting on Being things. Being in the, the action. IPN, yeah. So, yeah. so we, we have to be careful to, to do that in a way. So, so this kind of uh, micro, uh, utopian could be, uh, in a way, uh, more more common. Right. Uh, uh, more uh, you were talking about different ingredients, and I heard you in an interview saying that um, there are different issues to deal with when you're working on a design project, and that would be social, ecological, artistic ones. Um, how do you uh, deal with all these different things to put them all together and to have a, um, a, a project or yeah, the, the a best project? Yeah, the best is to do something singular, because uh, everybody will have, uh, it will become a, an adventure. It will become an adventure also for the person who build, building the project. 
And uh, we have to change also not only the way we do things, but the, the way we collaborating with people. And uh, it's so bizarre to understand that when you build a, uh, something, it's become uh, more, most of the time a kind of fighting between the, the different person. And uh, I'm sure we, we, we can work in a different way. So I'm doing this on a very small scale. But if you do something unique, if you do something with another functioning and explaining this functioning to the people, then they, they get uh, into the, the boat in a way and they are uh, fighting for this singularity. Um, because they understand what it is made mm -hmm. for, and they understand also that it's, uh, it's good f for them in a way. And um, by doing so, um, you, everybody is working with the idea of uh, no, uh, gaining knowledge, not uh, you know, to, to build uh, the project for the good reason and right. not for, for something else. Well, that's what so we were it's saying uh, this it's morning. It's a kind of, uh, yeah. exactly. uh, yeah, uh, kind of pragmatism in order to, yeah, to, to, to be uh, able to work for the, for, the good, uh, for the good things. To make things better. Yeah. So it's really a, a message you are just transmitting. If yeah, you can say it's so. my way of doing things, and but uh, everybody could find different ways of doing things. What I really like in this kind of days is uh, uh, everybody will have uh, uh, a kind of uh, thinking and saying, oh, he is doing like that, but this one is doing in a very different way. And this is what design is about, bringing diversity and also uh, bringing personal uh, um, sensibility, because uh, sensibility is not there in the project at the beginning, so our, our responsibility is to, uh, to, to have like, uh, um, a possibility to, bring to, uh, uh, to, yeah, to attract the sensible part in the project and also to frame the, uh, the, the places where to do projects. I really think we are not uh, problem solvers. Uh, mm -hmm. We 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 could uh, we we could work in a very different ways. Um, yeah, I sure it's questioning what design uh, industrial design is right now. But uh, I really like the idea of not having any response. I really like the idea of uh, uh, questioning myself uh, each time I'm doing a new project. Each time I'm doing a. Uh, I'm collaborating with different uh, person and I think it's what is more interesting in a way because it's never the, the same way. Uh, it's uh, uh, always a new adventure. So the role of the designer would be to give his personal approach, actually. Yeah, to give his personal. So design is about uh, two diff diff complicated things to be had. Together, it's uh, you. You have to ha to bring personality, but you have to bring alterity in the same time. So, how we managed, in fact, to to find the good uh, the good uh, concept, in mm -hmm. fact, to yeah, to to do that. And I guess understand the evolutions of the world you live in, of course. Yeah, sure. But this is uh <laughs> yeah, sure it quite has important. to be uh, co consistent <laughs> with what's going on and uh, the evolution of the society. Thank you very much. I'm going to look towards the room to see if there's somebody who wants to ask a question to Matali. Do we have somebody wanting to ask something? No. Ah, uh, yes. Somebody over there. Um, looking at all your great designs and concepts, it just um, makes me wonder what your own home looks like in your kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> my home, my home, my home is in an old factory, and my the important fact in my home is that I'm living in, uh, in this factory with neighbors. So it's quite interesting uh, the information we get this morning, because I came from a tiny village of 80 inhabitants, and um, a lot of my projects are around this idea of living together because it's a big challenge right now. And so I succeed in doing this in a way in Paris because we are uh, 20 families living together uh, in this whole factory. And um, in fact, I'm living there. I'm also working there. There's just a door separating my living space and my working space. And every go you wear? Every and I really Sorry. like that because uh, uh, if somebody is not understanding in a way that I'm connected with life, 
you know, it means that uh, maybe it's not worthwhile to go on and uh, collaborating uh, with him so or her. I mean, so it's make a kind of natural uh, selection. That, that was linked to this question, but um, everywhere you go, do you always have your eyes getting on things and thinking yeah. how you could make things different? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm, I'm more uh, looking for situations. Uh, I'm traveling quite a lot, doing a lot of workshops uh, uh, abroad, and uh, I'm looking really... I'm not interested in what kind of uh, material... Uh, what kind of colors, uh, even if I'm really fighting for bringing colors. I'm really concerned about uh, why uh, we feel good in this situation, what, what are the ingredients. Right. And then I, I try to bring these ingredients in a specific situation. Um, and, and this is how I'm functioning. So uh, it's really, uh, I, don't, I don't like product, I don't like space. What I like is how you can, through the, pro the product and the space, how you can uh, bring uh, life. And, and, you, uh, you, and uh, this is my point in a way. I use these uh, artifacts to, to bring diversity in life. Right. Any other question? So mm -hmm. we, we just to p to be precise because we had a, uh, like a talk uh, recently to say I'm very tiny uh, office we are just four working together and uh, I really like this idea of uh, small scale uh, studio because uh, we, you are not doing the same uh, uh, job I think you you really uh, can in a way push a little bit m more the 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 concept. Uh, and, uh, and, and in a way doing something more personal in, uh, in the same way. I had another question. I know you collaborated with um, IKEA. This was collection PS, if it's right, and you've made a lamp. Yeah. And uh, can you just explain maybe a bit how was the lamp and how you've been inspired to do it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's a lamp, so we talk already with the idea of uh, we, we have to change and use LED because it's uh, very important for the energy consumption. So I wanted to do a lamp with LED, and as we know, uh, this uh, lamp uh, components are becoming smaller and smaller, but we are used in a way to, to deal with objects. A lamp is more an object, it's not yet co only components. And uh, and uh, and lights. So uh, I wanted to do, in fact, an intermediary project. So keeping the the shadow or keeping the layout of the uh, object, the lamp, and having a small uh, component in the inside. And um, I just thought about uh, um, what is the, the the portable lamp. And I get this idea of. Uh, of the, the lamp we get in the station, a railway station at the, uh, at the beginning of the century. Uh, and it was a, a lamp with a handle, so it was very practical with very big uh, eyes, uh, like uh, yeah, with the lights. And I thought it was maybe the good uh, archetype, to, uh, the good uh, typology to be taken. So it's, this is made with a metal grid, and the lamp is uh, in the center. And I really like this idea because I, I, I heard once uh, uh, somebody talking about the arrival of the electricity at home, and she was, uh, uh, in fact, explaining that she, it was a loss for her because she was normally holding the candle, and then suddenly the light was uh, just a bubble, uh, a bulb, sorry, a bulb in the center of the space. And uh, so, in a way, with the technology, uh, we can bring back uh, this kind of proximity. The idea you can bring the lamp everywhere because this lamp uh, has a small battery, so you can. Uh, you, ha you have an autonomy to bring uh, the lamp everywhere in at home. And which is interesting as well is uh, using the history, using the traditions, yeah. and take the codes and break them. Yeah, yeah, to, to make some uh, reference, but in a way to do contemporary uh, objects in the same time. Is that the way you um, that guide you for your work? Yeah, a little bit. I try to start from rituals, and we're not starting from from uh, function and shapes, but the more work, um, we, the common part of human being is uh, how we eat, we eat, how we sleep. So I think it's it's more easier to 
to to put the the human being in the center of the process to to work like that. Well, if there are no other questions, thank you very much, Matali Kasset. Thanks a lot. <laughs>